Hello guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be learning how to install the ELS or emergency lighting system into LSPDFR and how to install vehicle packs. So first of all you're going to go to LSPDFR of course and download the emergency lighting system 1.05 which I'll leave a link to in the description and you can hit download of course agree and download hit the last version of version 105 and it's gonna bring you to the security challenge then hit download should bring up some and it's gonna bring up this one right here that he this thing right here it's gonna have documentation installation files and media all you gotta worry about is installation files hit Grand Theft Auto and you take your folder here you just drop all of that in here and since I already had these in here just replace it and you wanna go to the readme here let me see documentation I'm just gonna do this if I can figure out where it is let me see when I installed it I had to do something I always forget what I'm doing here. I'm no, just kidding. Okay, I believe you're gonna have to go to script hook B as well to download. That's one of the things. Script hook B dot DL. Let me just type that in real quick. Just get that out. Go to script hook B dot com or this place right here. Hit download. Do all of that good stuff. Then, okay, now you got your main part of the LS installed. I'm going to go to download. Okay, and see, I got the script hook here, right here. Let me move that to the desktop. You just open that up, do the same exact thing, go to bin, bin, then you install all of these. I don't install the native trader, trainer since I have simple trainer installed, but you can install that as well. You just drop that over here, and ELS should be working. So that is all done with. You don't have to worry about any of this. Let me move that over so I don't forget about it. So I downloaded the ELS Redmond pack. I really like this pack. It's going to be. Let me, if my computer loads it up in time, it's going to be this pack. I, I really enjoy this pack. You hit the download button like everything else. Do the do the security check. And then you're gonna open this up and here is where you're gonna have to have open IV, which is I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. You head to mods. Oh, where you need to make a mods folder. I'll need to show you how to do that as well. Okay, here when you download when you download GTA 5 you should get a x64 and an update folder all you're gonna do is make a new folder just label it mods it's really simple and in that empty folder you're gonna copy these two just copy that and then just paste it into mods I'm not gonna do it because that'll mess up all my folders and stuff you just paste that right into the mods folder it's gonna download and have these two in here um, and in OpenIV, it's going to show up as a purple folder. You open that up and see it's these blue and green folders. You're going to go to Update, X64, DLC Packs. Go down to Patch Day 19 or the latest Patch Day. Go to DLC RPF, Common Data. Nope, that's the wrong one. X64 Levels, GTA 5, Vehicles RPF. And this is going to bring you to your vehicle folder. It's going to have a whole bunch of vehicles in here. What you're going to do is, if you want the 2011 CVPI, or whichever one you want, I'm going to go with the one with the traffic enforcement. You just take that, drop it into there, hit, hit edit mode first. Okay, now we're able to drop it. You drop that in there, and you find, just to make sure it's in there, you hit police. 
And it's gonna bring up the car. Wait a minute, sorry, this is not the right pack. My bad. Sorry, I had the totally wrong pack. Let me just download this CD. Okay, it's gonna download here. Oh dang, that's it's gonna take a while. Let me see if I have it installed. Okay, let me see. Well, anyways, this is basically what you're going to do with that pack. I'm not going to be installing the Redmond pack today, I guess. Like I said, you just open it up, pick the vehicles you want. Like I said, I wanted this one. I drop it in here. If I want the Tahoe, I don't really want it in FBI 2 spot. The 2014 Charger, you drop it in the Police 2 spot. 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 And sheriff, I don't want sheriff. I don't want those with the sheriff cars. Police three, drop it in here. FPIS. I personally, I changed this into police four. I changed the numbers, which kind of threw off the handling line, so I wouldn't do that. Police six, uh, you'd have to have the extra vehicle slot installed, which I have no idea how to do. So that's how you do that. It's It should, when you go through all the ones you dropped in, they should all bring up this pack. You're gonna go to the VCF file. Sometimes they'll have it called ELS. You hit that. If you want it all blue, you hit that, which I like all blue. You see it's gonna bring up these police one through four. You're gonna go to your GTA 5 folder. Go to the ELS folder up here, pack default. Don't worry about the unused folder, just delete that off if you want. You're going to take all of these, drop it in here, replace it, since I have something in there already. And now that you should be good to go, let me just fire up my game and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay guys, now that I got GTA 5 going again, <laughs> um, all you got to do to see if the cars are installed is I have... I have a trainer installed, so I'll go down to vehicle spawning, emergency, and police cruiser, police cruiser two, police cruiser three, and police cru or unmarked cruiser, or police police one, police two, police three, and police four, of course. So, police cruiser, you install that, and here, you have the cars, and since you installed the VCF, when you hit the ELS, that should work. See that? And just so you know, I have a I don't, or I have a plug-in or a script or whatever it's called called brighter lights. That way, my lights are brighter and it looks realistic. You'll have to install that yourself. I'm gonna try two. That's gonna be this one. Police cruiser three. It's gonna be this one. And police cruiser four, which. You can put in as an unmarked. This one always, um, this has a bad handling line for police four, so I wouldn't put it in as that. But this one, when I turn on the lights, you need to go to options and stuff like that and take off the, take off the tinting. And I'll leave a link to this pack in the, in the description as well. See this? So they all really look good. And I have another plug-in installed called Sticky Wheels, so my cars look awesome when they turn like that. So that's really all you need to do, install ELS. And I will be putting out a video how to install the brighter lights, how to install the Sticky Wheels, and all that good stuff, you know. So you guys have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you soon.